Okay, and uh, welcome to the channel. This is the first recording I have. Um, first audio recording for a uh, video. It is the color video for the uh, weird tree monster. Um, it's already been colored. Uh, I'm just going to go through some of the things that I did just to show you show you the original scan and uh, the ideas that I came up with and so that you can see the artwork a little bit closer because you can't see it as well in the previous videos. So here's the image. And that's the unfiltered uh, scan. It wasn't a particularly good scan as you can see, quite blurry. So I had to do a, a fair amount of uh, work to clean it up. Uh, the scan is just not very good. Uh, let's see if I go to this image here. Uh, this one here. All right, so that's the first version of it cleaned up. And I was reasonably happy with what it what uh, what it looked like. Uh, that's at two hundred percent. That's one. That's one hundred percent. Um, it's a bit jagged, but um, it's just a bit of fun. Uh, resolution of three hundred at um, sixteen by eighteen inches, I believe. Uh, okay, so here is what I did to it once I got it into the computer and then I cleaned it up and uh, changed the things that I felt needed to, do, needed to be changed. So there's the original uh, cleaned up and here are the changes. And here is a version of it with uh, uh, gray scale or gray tone, whatever you want to call it. That's just an idea showing um, reflections of uh, the tree. So the light is coming from some other place and uh, tree branches and uh, whatnot are reflecting on the chest. You'll notice I changed the light source quite dramatically here, made it a little bit more consistent. As you can see here versus that. This is more sculptural lighting and yes, you see a lot of detail, but uh, I think this is a bit more effective. And now I'll show you some color. Get rid of these. And let me put something in there over the top. Here are some color versions. Yes, that's a bit strong, depending on what, what whether it's printed or uh, on the on the net. Slightly different versions. That one's quite clear. It's just a matte tone. Makes it quite boring. That one makes it. The focus, obviously, the creature, and this is just flat. That's possibly a bit too dark, and this would need to be refined. That's much better. And of course, the version that I prefer is that. So I'll show you some of the color what I call color plates. Obviously you can see I'm just sketching the color. I'm just changing the color. There's one originally. Is that the same? 
yeah, so that's uh, probably the first layer that I coloured with, which gives you that. And then I added detail and complexity. That's probably the best one, actually, in some ways. Yeah, added detail and complexity. Um, obviously, there's a fade, a gradient fade there. This one's probably my favourite, actually. And I do believe it is what this is based on. Yeah, quite possibly. Alright, so there it is. Yes, I did make quite a few changes uh, to the inking. I'll show you... Where is it? So yeah, like I said, I changed it from sculptural to a little bit more uh, realistic, you could say. And added, uh, you know, other details. Pulled out some of these lines. Um, I think I wrote in the description the uh, stylistic inspiration was uh, Sin City, Frank Miller's Sin City, and also John Romita Jr.'s uh, 80s work. I think I remember him doing something like these tentacle-like things, and I thought I'd use that as inspiration. Alrighty, so that's the final um, segment for the Weird Tree Monster. Uh, I will um, endeavor to do something quite soon, uh, within uh, a week or a few days. Something new uh, to look at. Alright, that's it for now. Uh, thank you for uh, watching uh, all four, if you managed to watch all four. Uh, thank you for uh, subscribing and liking and hopefully sharing. Uh, we bit cats. Alright, thank you.